<laughs> Hi guys, welcome to season two of Lifestyles and Passions of the BCS family. We're over here on Main Street at Sharky's. I'm Isaac Fatagoni. And I'm Brooke Dreysat. And with us today is Kristen Dufresne. Ooh, did I say your last name right? You sure did. That makes fun of me. I always say it wrong. You didn't this time? <laughs> there you go. Um, so we listened to you guys in the comments. Yes. Shout out to Mr. Mitchell. And we heard you guys, you don't want to see us in stuffy offices. So we are out on Main Street. We have, have invited Kristen for a drink. Cheers. 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 <laughs> Happy Friday or whatever Let's day Let's get it is weird. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I we can get weird. If you want. <laughs> you think this old introduction? Um, okay, so you guys have seen. Can I have you stand up for yeah. a short second? You guys have seen these beautiful Serape designs out at the beach. Kristen is the designer behind it, and we just want to bring you out here, get you a little bit drunk, maybe, <laughs> Thanks, and get your story behind the passions of why you started this. So, totally. okay, so rewind. rewind. Okay, you were you played in BCS. I know you were on Letty's team for like a year and a half. Never on Letty's team. Okay, so show me I your team. I started TVs. on your team with Akuna Matata. Akuna Matata. Oh, okay. And cool. we transformed into Show Me Your TDs. Cool. And Letty and I bonded off the field. <laughs> Let's see, Sam. Love that amazing. girl. <laughs> Letty. You are amazing. And then all of a sudden, Kristen disappears. Yeah. And I well, hear rumors of you're traveling the world, you're milking cows somewhere in Australia. It's true. Where'd like, you go? Fill us in where that, <laughs> where that time traveling went. So I started off by going to Panama because I knew Australia was so far away from Latin America <laughs> that I had to get my <laughs> Latino flavor in before going down under. Are you Latino? No. Because you love Latino. Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> Por corazón, I am Latina, <laughs> but that's okay. it. <laughs> okay, good. Um, and so I worked in Panama for a bit, then down under. And I traveled all over Australia doing all kinds of crazy jobs, picking fruits and milking cows. I painted a house. I bartended. <laughs> nice. Yeah. That's awesome. so cool. It's weird. <laughs> and then I worked at a huge financial corporation at the end in Sydney, and that was so opposite but amazing. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and then my visa expired. Uh-huh. <laughs> and I had to leave. Nice. So, okay. were you happy traveling? Like, yeah. where, was, where did your passion start from? My passion started when I studied abroad in Chile in college. And um, when I was there, I became the person I am today. I was like horribly, painfully shy before that. And I just really grew and came out of my shell. Yeah. In you South found your America and Chile. Niche. Yeah, that yeah. was it. Got addicted to this stuff and <laughs> <laughs> haven't stopped since. And I love seeing so many of the BCS family wrapping your stuff out on the beach. It makes me happy. Me too. You wouldn't believe. Oh, you go it's out so there on fun. a Saturday and Sunday morning and all you see is cake glory everywhere. It's Trape awesome. Trape for days. It's awesome. <laughs> how, do you, how does that make you feel? It's so cool. You know, because at first I thought people are doing this just to support me and I've got great friends to do that. And that's, I was so grateful for that to start. Yeah. But now I see people, they, they show up and their stuff is like, worn out like they wear it <laughs> all the time <laughs> yeah. and they tell me it's their favorite sweatshirt it's their favorite shorts it's you know something they wear all the time and I'm like they're not doing that for me yeah so that's yeah. awesome like never imagined that I could create something that people would adore in the way they are it's really cool yeah so being in the fashion industry do you have a designer that inspires you at, at like Prada, Dolce Gabbana, there's a lot of designers out there. Does anyone inspire you? <laughs> Absolutely not, Isaac. <laughs> it's you guys that inspire me. The conversations we have, yeah. where can I put Serape on this shirt, uh -huh, uh -huh. you know? Okay. No, wow. literally, Isaac, when you walked up today, she's like, you need some Serape. Yeah, you told me that too. <laughs> so, yeah. I Where's mean... your Serape? <laughs> that shirt is asking and for it. And by Serape, you mean the colorful the color, that the that blanket. It's a blanket. Not all, all, yeah. Some of us are, you know, white, white. and not Latino, <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah, it's the Mexican blanket, like the beach blankets, the tablecloths, the really bright decorative ones mm -hmm. that you see all over. So kind of your what you've built your brand around is putting Serape on shirts, sweatshirts. I've seen you do the cutest little baby clothes. Baby clothes, tote yeah. bags, anything 
really, and it's growing. Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah. And so, but also you built something additionally into your brand. I know your Instagram is all about, obviously, your love for Latina and South America, but you also built a nonprofit side into it, didn't you? Yeah. So a portion of all of my profit goes to saving street dogs in third world countries. Cool. Wow. Yeah. Um, I donate to Save Our Scruff, which is a Canadian-based company that creates or they go into third world countries, start clinics, and then fix up the street dogs and take them home to Canada or the U.S. and rehome them. So you're two years in? Is that right? Only one year. Okay. Wow. One year in. One so year you're still in the tree, hustle yeah. and the grind. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how, many, how many hats are you wearing right now? How many hats? All of the hats. <laughs> <laughs> and the hats of Sarape on them. <laughs> they all have Sarape. It's crazy. I have so many Sarapified hats. Well, I just think it's important <laughs> to know because when you start a brand, like it yeah. takes a lot of, it just takes a lot of hustle behind the scenes. So, okay, yeah. let me see if I can guess the hats that you're wearing and you add in. I'm assuming you're cheap sewer. Yeah, the only cheap one. Cheap invoicer. <laughs> yep. Cheap salesperson. Yep. Chief social media coordinator. Yep. I'm sure there's so many more. What am I missing? Did you say sales? I mean sales. You so you're selling online on your website and in stores. Yep. Okay. Yep. So I do sales. I'm the sale sales person, the buyer, the designer, <laughs> the manufacturer, mm -hmm. the financial person. Okay. <laughs> Literally everything. Yes. Yeah. Oh, a lot. So you're in a lot of stores. Is there any like local stores we would know of over in HB? Yeah, it's so weird. There's one <laughs> right there. What? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't even know how to pronounce it. <laughs> <laughs> <Is> it <safe? laughs> yeah. What can the BCS family do? What can we do to support you? Buy K Calor. <laughs> and uh, follow us on Instagram. It's uh -huh. at yeah, k.calor.apparel. And Facebook is the same handle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And also, just remember to buy local and yeah, buy like local. think small when you're doing your gift shopping and stuff. It's yeah. so easy and it means so much to the people like me. Yeah. Like, forget the made in China stuff and. Go <coughs> local, handmade. Yeah. And remember K Calor when it comes to gift giving season, because this is like a perfect gift. Yeah. It really is. Yeah. People love it. It's customizable. You can put their favorite color on it. You know? Yeah. It's, it's I'm really glad nice. you say that because it is, it's so easy and I'm the worst going on your phone, order from Amazon when you have there a gift is. for somebody. Yeah. But there's so many entrepreneurs within our community, within the BCS family who are so worth supporting. Mm -hmm. So I think it's really cool to get stories like yours and, totally. and just to be reminded that you're here hustling and you're at the early stages of your business. You know, it's going to grow and you're going to take off from here. But yeah. We'll yep. get to say that we knew you back when. Yeah. <laughs> when you're Miss Prada, Miss DG, Who? we knew you first. <laughs> <laughs>